Hi, welcome to this tutorial on infrared spectroscopy. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to um, show you how to interpret the spectra first, and then we'll go into the theory later. Because to be honest, the majority of people out there will just probably want to interpret the spectra anyway, and that's that's the first thing you'll come across. The, the theory can actually catch up with you later on. Now, this what I'm going to show you now is is something you can go to as well, it's on the internet, it's, um, it's a site run by Professor Robert John Lancashire, uh, Department of Chemistry at University of West Indies, and it's absolutely fantastic uh, for learning infrared spectro uh, spectroscopy. Basically, he's set it up so you can read in an infrared spectrum, just like we've got here on the left hand side, and he's he's got this JML structure as well, which if you've been on Epistemi, oh, we, we have these structures in um, to, to add some of the tutorials. But what he's done is linked the two up. So if you click on um, this peak here, for example, you can see the uh, vibrations that contribute to that um, stretching frequency. So if you look here, it's an asymmetric stretch of a CH group, uh, uh, 3060 wave numbers. And then if you go, go down the spectrum, it gives you an interpretation of what those um, uh, vibrations are. And you can see them on the model as well. So it's really, really easy way of learning um, the infrared spectrum, really. And it's a really easy way of understanding what these peaks mean. Uh, so if you imagine shining infrared uh, light through your molecule, then only this part of the molecule, in this particular case, the methyl groups, will pick up um, the enough energy to um, vibrate. They'll, they'll resonate at that frequency. And there, if you, if you look at uh, this peak here, this characteristic of a, a carbon hour stretch at 1685, uh, carbon hour next to a, an aromatic there, and it's it's all it's all annotated well. So it's carbon hour stretching band, approximately 1685 wave numbers, and there you can see it vibrating in the um, JML structure there. And then if you go into the fingerprint region, so here we've got the carbon carbon stretches of the aromatics. You can just see a little wiggle there. And you also see other parts of the molecule vibrating as well, and that's because um, well, as you enter the fingerprint region, um, <clears throat> parts, other parts of the molecule will contribute to certain vibrations. Okay, so it's not it's not really dependent on just one um, stretching frequency. So here, carbonyl is really easy to interpret because it's only the carbonyl that stretches at that frequency. But certainly, as you get into the fingerprint region here, uh, other other parts of the molecule will contribute. So you'll have the little wiggles. You can just about see them there. You got the little wiggles for the um, aromatics as the hydrogens go up and down out of the plane. There, They're, I'll exaggerate it here with the mouse. So they're going up and down like that, and similar here. But you can do this to your heart's content. You know, you can just really have a, a good look through um, uh, quite a, a few series of spectra. And I'll do another one in a second. Um, and get a really good feel for um, what these vibrations mean in real terms, in, in terms of the molecule. If you noticed a pop-up came uh, a second ago because I clicked on fingerprint region. Oh, we got that. And that looks like a... Oh, look, there's a little twist in there. Okay. So that's what that means. But yeah, when I clicked on this one, a pop-up came. So if it's, if it's not been annotated, you get this little pop-up that comes as well. That just tells you it's not been annotated. So that's that's probably just a, a very strange vibrational frequency which is characteristic of that molecule. So that's acetophenone. And I suppose the, the most important thing to look for in acetophenone, if you're looking for it, will be the carbonyl stretch there. So that's it for now. Do, do have a look at the theoretical video on infrared spectroscopy and look out for a few more of these examples as well. So bye for now.